Hello, today I will be going over the flow meter and transistor verification for the DCT7088. For the verification procedure, we'll need a calibration block. Two transducer cables to hook up the transducers to the DCT7088. Some sill glide that will be supplied with a unit. RS232 communication cable. Two transducers. And a power supply to charge the unit. Hooking up the power supply to the side of the unit. Here. This is a three piece power supply. It has the block to charge the unit, the AC converter that goes to the wall, and the power cord that hooks up the converter to the wall. Once the power supply is plugged into the unit, the charging light will turn on. The power supply also needs to be plugged into the wall in order to get computer interface. Next thing I will do is grab the calibration V block, put some silk light on it. So dab is fine. So I have a V block ready. I will put my transducers on it. Transducers have to be put on the V block in a certain direction. There's arrows that show the flow. Both of the arrows have to be pointing the, the same direction. Move it back and forth so that it gets a nice seal and that they stay on there. Next, I will connect the transducers to the flow meter. And this is the port on the side. For the verification, it's not really important what port each one of the transducers gets plugged into. And since I am setting this up, I will go ahead and plug in the RS-232 communication interface cable between the power distribution block and my computer. Now that the unit is set up, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Wait for it to power up. Now that the unit is powered up, I'm going to go ahead and follow this technical bulletin that is supplied with a manual so we can do this verification. We have to set up the pipe overall diameter. Go to menu 10. It should be set up to 1.5 inches. Next to wall thickness, menu 11. Should be set up to 0 0.1 inches. Next is pipe material, 
menu 13. For this, you can select any material, so it doesn't really matter what material is selected. And next would be fluid type. It needs to be set to water. It's menu 20. We already have it set up for water. And the mounting method would be the calibration V block. That's menu 24. The transducer mount has to be set to V. After this is set up, you select menu 1. This shows you what the unit is currently reading. The velocity needs to be less than plus or minus one feet per second. As you can see, this unit is showing negative 0.35 feet per second, so that means that this unit is working properly. Now we'll be going over how to set up the data logging software for this unit to communicate with your computer. First thing you want to do is select menu 46. You want to select D-Link. Uh, right now there's an asterisk next to ultra scan, so we need to change that. You select enter the side key so that the highlight is next to D-Link. Hit enter. From there you want to select menu 81. This is the log interval of the unit. Uh, you will set this as required for your testing. I have it set to one second. Then you go to menu 80. This is where you start and stop your logging. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Give it a couple seconds so that we have some information to show you. And now I am going to go ahead and stop the logging. Uh, when you hit stop, it's asking you if you're sure. You have to enter the five key. Uh, now the logging has stopped and we'll go back to menu 01. Uh, from here you want to verify the communication settings are set properly so you can communicate with your computer. From there you go back to menu 46. You hit the right arrow key and this will show you the information you need for communicating with your computer. After the communications have been verified, I'll just go back to menu one. From there, I will open the D-Link software. When your unit is communicating, you will see a window that pops up saying communications established. If your settings aren't correct, a window will pop up saying your unit is not communicating and you will have to make changes to the settings according to what the unit was reading earlier. We then select OK and a warning pops up telling us not to press any buttons while you are interfacing with a computer. Hit OK. Now that you have communication established with your D-Link software, you will go to the pull down menu, select the desired log that you want to see, and click get log. And this is the information that we logged a few minutes ago. Uh, from here to save it, you go to file, save log, Select a location where you want this information to go on your computer. And name it something. Select save. This information will be saved in a text document. So. Now we'll be going over the UltraScan communication software setup. To select UltraScan, you press menu 46. You see right here that the asterisk is next to D-Link. You want to change that to UltraScan. You press enter. Hit this left arrow key. Select enter again. 
If you want to verify your communication setup, you hit the right arrow key and it gives you the information necessary right here. From here you go back to menu 01. After you select menu 1, you open up your UltraScan software. Once you have selected all your parameters, you press the send button. Once this information has been sent to the unit, the display will change to show live data. This concludes the communication setup of the DCT-7088.